190 kilometers is the verdict. Uh, maybe I'll... Maybe... Let's do Eve. Who's up for that? Shall we uh, take care of Eve this time? And then, until Squad changes the arrow next week. Yeah, we're going to take care of Eve now. Let me remind myself what the transfer thing is. Uh, Eve is 54 degrees behind Kerbin. You don't have to air brake, you can just capture with propulsion. Right. Yes, of course, but that's not the most efficient way to go, metaphor. We want to air brake. We are not air braking around the sun, Rodan. That is not a thing. Oh, that's a good point, by the way. Of course, depending on what speed you're going at, Jewel, that's going to change what your air braking profile is going to be. We did uh, pretty much a Holman transfer. So, worth noting that. Hold on. I need a protractor. Jewel is easy to hit. Eve, with its inclination, is a little bit more difficult. Okay, that looks like 54 degrees. Gravity assist from the moon. Yeah, that's a good point. Lathe is another possibility. If you want to air break around Jewel, Lathe can do it. So we can do that. We're just going to send the same exact thing. And that'll give me a chance to test the Taurus again. Let me just make sure we still, yeah, we still got the struts on the payload. All right. So yeah, same exact thing. And we can test this one more time. Average amount of people watching do I have? So far, about, uh, about 20, I think, is the average. We're about, we're above average. We hit our high today. I think we had 32 at one point. That's the highest I've ever been. Wow, that's pretty slow, too. Okay, anyway. Let's get this off. Oh, crud. Oh, I think it's a launch clamp. Okay. Well, uh, sometime two minutes. So happy when you... Okay, that's other people's. Yes, literally putting a protractor on the screen. Um, okay, answer that. You'd use a protractor too. Good call. Okay, pitch program. And this is oh crud! I forgot to turn off the center engine. We're we're not gonna be able to bring this down very well. We've got a lot of reserve fuel though. We're not turning very quickly because I'm talking. And we're testing this uh, launcher, the Taurus B. This is an old launcher from my .25 series, and uh, was also made a brief guest appearance in my point uh, in when that series was upgraded to point nine zero. Okay, fairing set. Do the fairing pieces ever collide with anything? Is that a thing that happens? Finally caught one of these stealth streams, YouTube Persona. It's not stealth. I put the timing of the broadcast in the title. Uh, every time you just have to stop by the channel to see what I'm broadcasting next. Yeah, you can think of everything as speed. You love air braking. Yes, we are testing uh, Eve. Actually, I shouldn't say re-entry. I should say air braking. What am I thinking? Eve air braking testing up is the building process of the the building process is not documented because it took too darn long <laughs> uh, nobody has the patience to watch that I, I barely had the patience to watch that and I did it so yeah the Taurus B is uh, is a seriously wonderful design in particular because it's asymmetric like this it's uh, it's cool like that I don't think we can have much fuel left because I had a bad trajectory going up. Um, they can collide, but they don't persist. Okay, so the fairings can collide. All right, at least the fairings and they hit your engine. All right, good to know. I love the new aero rockets much better than those pancakes from before. Ye well, I never made the pancakes, so haven't used them yet. Uh, you still use procedural aero, good man. 
tell your wife hi. Hi? Uh, the Grizz Business's wife? Uh, Devin, love the thumbnail of the colonization thing. Yeah, that's actually, uh, I uh, did some photoshopping on, uh, that's an actual NASA image of uh, Moon Colony. So uh, they had a artist, artist imagining of a Moon Colony and I thought, well, that'd be a cool thumbnail. So that's what I did there. All right, our Eve probe is uh, ready to go. We can extend the solar panels on it. And let's try and bring the Taurus B back down again. Much more functional procedural fairings, yeah. The only thing the stock fairings have for them is the transparency bit. Okay, that is about the point. Now, last time we did 30, and that was way over. So this time I'm gonna do 26, let's say. Uh, well, except uh, we're actually at a lower orbit. Maybe. Oh, hey, go for broke. 26.5. Yeah, it's the wonderful thing about NASA images is, of course, that they are free for use. They are public domain. They are all public domain works. And so that makes things a lot easier. Scheduling intricacies seem to have escaped you. Well... Uh, basically, it looks like I'm doing Saturday, Sunday, 1 p.m. Pacific time, which is 8 p.m. Uh, GMT, and then uh, most of the I think just Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Pacific, which is 12 p.m. Is is it 12? No, it's 11 p.m. GMT. You like the new fairings because they don't cause as much lag. That's a good point. They do seem to be lag resistant. Well, the ones they haven't edited are in public domain. Correct. Correct. Uh, NASA. Some of the stuff uh, is like, uh, uh, especially if they get from other space agencies, it's not in public domain. There's 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 a few caveats to that. If there are astronauts in that don't want their image being used in certain ways, that sort of thing. A lot of stuff is redacted because it shows classified information. That's mostly for the Air Force stuff. Mo uh, the NASA's, NASA's own stuff is usually clear. What did you miss? Uh, Kraken, uh, we, uh, we tried air braking around Joule. Uh, we found that Joule's atmosphere is now very high and very thick. And, uh-oh, we are not going to make the KSC here. We're too low this time. So, somewhere between 26 and 30 is the answer. We're going to land in the water on this side again. Uh, not again, this time. Okay, let's just prepare. Uh, so yeah, uh, 190 is the lowest air breaking altitude for Joule, I think. And now we're going to be trying air breaking at EVE. Uh, this is the launcher for the EVE mission. I'm just testing this launcher. It is the Taurus B from my Hard Time series. And we're retesting it in 1.0. And it seems to survive re-entry just fine, even though its rear end looks like this. Not really a bunch of stuffed docks to the station we aren't supposed to know about. Um, supposed to know about. I... If it's military, it's military. If it's CIA, it's CIA. If it's NASA, NASA, then it's then it's public domain. I mean, there are there are agencies, and then there's NASA. If it's NASA, I I, it's hard to keep a rocket launch a secret, actually. And there's a lot of cameras on the ISS. Do you really think NASA tells all their secrets? Um, well, yeah. Uh, uh, tells is a different thing, right? Having access to their secrets is a different thing than it being broadcast. They have a lot of documents, and you sort of have to know what you're looking for. Um, yeah, I'm an historian, so I'm used to sifting through documents in really 
you know, piles and piles of things and finding, finding information. Uh, they're not going to broadcast everything, but you, you can do, uh, you, you can do your research. But yeah, uh, in my experience, NASA is very good about publishing information, and there is a ton of information, all uh, l tens of thousands of papers on very high technology available. I mean, extremely high technology. So, uh, speaking of cameras on the ISS, how do you feel about the... Yeah, I, I like the Earth viewing experiment, that's cool. I, I, I mean, it's very soothing. That was a bit hard. Now well, it's gonna tip over again, but I'm gonna recover it anyway. I've got the I've got the Verners on. I should use them. But let, let's not get into any more politics, huh? Let's okay. Let's stop. 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 Let's not. No more. No more. No more. No more political stuff. Uh, we like NASA around here. Okay. I, I'm going with EJ's policy. I don't know if you guys know EJSA here on Twitch. Uh, EJ underscore SA. Uh, yeah, we like NASA. I'm trying to aim for my uh, ascending node there. Okay, there we go. Aiming for uh, the nodes means that you can avoid the mid course plane change. But it does have drawbacks. I just want this a little bit closer, KSP. Can you do that for me? Nope. Okay, we'll burn this and then we'll adjust. We've got lots and lots of Delta V. This thing carried the probe to Jewel, for heaven's sake, so I don't think we're going to have any trouble hitting Eve here. Yeah, DirectX 12. Well, this there's no... There's no rush to uh, upgrade to Windows 10, is there? I'm, I'm perfectly fine with Windows 8. I wasn't very fine with some of the other versions of Windows, but... I'm not in any rush. Uh, my uh, my histor history, I studied US history primarily, and my specialty was the 1960s. So yeah, um, Space Race fell into my territory, but I was more focused on uh, socio-economic issues. Um, yeah, RSS visual enhancements, uh, toying with it, I don't know. I haven't been able to... Tweaking it, uh, I have not managed to do. How would I ask NASA a question? My question is... What is the normal sound atmosphere? Oh, uh, there is a... Well, there are a lot of ways to approach that one. You could actually listen in. Uh, but, uh, and... But, yeah, they, they have... Uh, they have events and such, but I can't answer that question. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Hold on, you guys are distracting me. I need to hit this mark. I think I should wait until I get into solar orbit. I don't think I can do any tweaking here. Okay. Okay, what have I missed? Plenty of videos on the NASA YouTube from the ISS. Yep, that's one way of doing it. Um... There's so many things running on the ISS, so many fans. Yep, constant hum. Wants to go watch a sneezing panda with... Uh, okay, what? Okay. No, no, there's a lot of videos from the ISS. And, and yeah, there are a lot of... Uh, there are a lot of uh, question and answer sessions with uh, people from NASA. And even if they haven't been up there, they can tell you what it sounds like. They built the thing. Uh, okay. Panspermia theory. Panspermia theory. That uh, as a, when writing my sci-fi, I I generally assume that life came from some other source, and we that a lot of solar systems are populated. Like 
uh, a previous supernova kind of thing showered the general area with with a lot of uh, the basics of life, if you will. So that that is a thing that happens in my sci-fi. I don't know if I can say about what's true in real life, though. That's just a, a neat thing I use to get a lot of alien species in the neighborhood. Have I seen Gravity or Interstellar? I saw Gravity, not Interstellar yet. And Gravity, I feel, is a great movie to watch in the theater. Not so much at home. It's it was uh, I got to watch it in the theater and it was a good experience. Obviously, we all know about the inaccuracies, but I'm I'm a writer. I can get around that. Scrolling on different things in the maneuver nodes to fine tune them. Yes. Yes. Uh, so if you create a maneuver node, you use the middle mouse wheel to scroll to fine tune it. That's correct. Um, Interstellar is a must watch. Yep, so I've heard, but I just haven't gotten the chance. Uh, almost nothing can survive without an ionosphere. Radiation will fry anything not in a shield. Well, that's, that's one of many things that can kill you if you don't have something in between you and it in space. Am I a fine fan of Star Wars, Star Trek, or Stargate? Or different. For you, it's Stargate. I am a fan of uh, the first three, the original three Star Wars movies. I'm a fan of Star Trek uh, up to the end of Deep Space Nine. Nothing after that. And uh, I'm a fan of much of Doctor Who. I am a fan of uh, Firefly. I am a fan of... Uh, Farscape, when it was on, sort of like that. Gravity, the film where there's gravity only at the end. Nope, that's not true. There's gravity in space as well. You're just traveling fast enough for Earth's gravity uh, to affect you little enough that you go horizontally enough to overcome it. You're still there's still gravity, and. Uh, the only thing is that uh, you are weightless. That is a different thing. You are not. The force of gravity is not affecting you the way you think it is supposed to affect you. It is important to watch all the sci fi you ever want to see before starting to play KSP. <laughs> well, it certainly gives you ideas. Muppets, yes, Muppets. Muppets are essential to developing a sense of humor. So is Monty Python, as far as I'm concerned. Simpsons. I've I watched some Simpsons. I mean, who hasn't? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say that I uh, I have the same same feeling towards the Simpsons as I do for sci-fi things. Sci-fi things are in a special category. Okay, so what else do we think here? Red Dwarf I've seen. I've seen Red Dwarf. That is interesting. It's it's interesting. <laughs> uh, Python, yep. Monty Python is very helpful. 35 kilometers, Grisbis. No, no. If anything, we know that the air breaking height has to be higher than it was in KSP.90. Now in KSP.90, I would hesitate to go below 70. Well, now Arrow has been close, and he says 60 to 70, which is interesting. You start dislike Star Wars when Chewbacca walked from spaceship on ladder. Okay, try 70. 70 may be uh, good. To, you want to see me smash? <laughs> yeah, I got that feeling. Um... Okay, well, I expect that 70 is going to make a smash anyway. But uh, let us start with 70 because that was a good number from the old days. And we'll work from there. Okay, well, 70.1, call it. Uh, F5. We have, we have interesting thrusters. But backfiring, I don't think is going to be necessary. All right, we are detaching the transfer stage, so weep for all the Delta V that's going to go bye-bye. And activating these thrusters, 
And now we are ready for our encounter with... No, no, we're not, because our Eve Periapsis has changed. And we need to fix that. That is out. But we need to... Oh, that would not be a good thing. Let's wait until we're a little bit closer to correct this. That is some decoupling. The decoupling really knocks us around. One dollar. <laughs> no, no actual money here. Well, I should uh, develop some sort of credit system. Uh, like uh, you know, the, the other streamers all have. Like uh, like that. Das has some sort of system, doesn't he? Uh, do I run in OpenGL mode? No. No, OpenGL mode causes bad artifacts, especially since I have an AMD video card. AMD video card and OpenGL do not like each other. Decoupling force, that messed it up. Yep. And we need to... Yep, we have it fixed. Alright, I think we're ready. Here we go. I'll, I'll pause just before we hit the atmosphere so you can place your bets. OpenGL should not be needed for stock anyway, correct. Save again. Um, let's do the Alt F5 save. So this will be... Uh, actually, you know what, you're right. We've got enough Delta V here, we can just quick save like this. Use OpenGL and AMD GPU and CPU and you think it performs flawlessly. Well, the only time I ever used it with was, was with a lot of mods, because why else, right? Uh, I used it to fit a lot of mods with uh, Realism Overhaul, Real Solar System, and there it caused issues. Or I might just have a really crappy GPU, you know. Okay, uh, placing your bets, folks, we are headed in at 70 kilometers. Does this burn up? Do we end up landing? Uh, we could land. We could land, actually, right? The atmosphere is thick enough. Uh, it could slow us down, so we come into a landing. Do we end up in uh, escape trajectory, or do we end up in an orbit? Uh, no, I don't play dark multiplayer. I've never used dark multiplayer so far. I was planning to uh, get into multiplayer once the stock multiplayer came about, but it looks like that's going to take longer than they originally hinted at. Okay, locking to retrograde. It doesn't look like uh, there's any added thickness to Eve's atmosphere. Where is my voice from? I'm from all over the place. Accent. I, I was not born in the United States. And I have a background of much complexity. You run 97 mods with OpenGL. Congrats. <laughs> what can I say? Congrats. This is not a thing I can do. You bet orbit. Okay, SUT uh, 25T says orbit. I don't know. It's looking pretty good. Not uh, not a military kid, kid, no. That one actually. Yeah, it's uh, we, we are we are not for mature audiences only. Keep in mind, yes, that is not a flag on here. Okay, uh, well, we're in a stable orbit. Not exactly the greatest thing to encounter Gilly with, but that wasn't our point. Uh, looks like the, the atmosphere of EVE hasn't really changed at all. A blader, hardly used. Yeah, it looks like the atmosphere of Eve is nice and smooth 70 kilometers maybe lower even so arrow you got it right there and let us continue to try and bring this to the surface of Eve yeah I, I generally keep my videos clean so I thought I'd uh, go with uh, a G rated channel as well uh, no, actually, I think we can keep this just fine. Let's see if uh, 70 kilometers will bring us to the surface. What is Nightbot? Nightbot is a little bot. It's uh, 
It's an automated moderation system. And it just makes sure that, uh, well, I guess, I don't know why it got you though. But yeah, it's an automated moderation system. You had the accent pegged for urban Ohio. Never been to Ohio. <laughs> Never been to Ohio. Yeah, well, in my case, it'd be very difficult anyway. Okay, we're coming down. Here we go. Let's see if we can land on Eve. How heavy are we? 5.4. I don't think uh, just two of the little Rockamax engines are going to help. How come I didn't use electric charge here? Um upward facing solar panels. We've got solar panels here. Oh, and we've got RTGs. Have you decided how you want to continue with the colonization series? We, uh, I got feedback. Uh, I've updated the mods. It seems like scanning is working, so 0 .90 seems to be a go. Uh, tentatively, of course, we'll see if there's any other bugs, but so far, scanning works. So, uh, we're good to go on the colonization series. It's looking pretty good. Do I do tutorial requests? Well, what do you want to see? Exterior temp really is exterior temp. I don't know why it gets so hot, but it seems to be that's that seems to be what it is. Temp X is is the exterior temperature. The blader is way too strong. You missed daily reentry. Yeah, Blader is very strong. Actually, deadly re deadly reentry in its current incarnation, I think, uh, you don't melt much of Blader off anyway. At least in my uh, Realism Overall series, it doesn't seem we like we lose much of Blader. It says it's air immediately next to the part, so perhaps it's so warm because of heat radiating from the ship. Well, it's complicated if the ship itself isn't very hot, but yeah, I guess you could say that. There's plasma and all that sort of thing. How do you show the uh, temperature stats here? Uh, Alt F12, thermal, display thermal data in action menus. So Alt F12. And uh, you go to physics tab, thermal. And that's only because we're in sandbox. I wouldn't do this in career mode. Okay, well, you know, uh, Eve's atmosphere isn't slowing us down the way it used to. Correct me if I'm wrong. I thought it would slow us down a lot more than it's than it's doing right now. Let me make sure I can use thrust here. Okay, well we can slow down using thrust. Can we get a tutorial on how to do a grand tour? Well that's just a lot of calculation. It's not Um Yeah. Hold on, I think we're gonna crash. Yeah, we're not slowing down fast enough. Slowing down fast enough. Uh Wait, controller still works. That's <laughs> losing power fast. Okay, so uh tutorial on how to do a grand tour I'm not so sure about. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. No, 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 no. We didn't have shoots. No, no, no. We didn't have shoots. We we're just bringing it down for kicks. Uh I wonder when Scott will add working clouds. Well, Clouds, I definitely want. Precipitation, yeah. Open the dish for more drag. <laughs> uh, it could have done. Too late now. Here, we've opened the dish. Uh, good idea, though, Franzos. Uh, should have tried that out just to see what happens. Um, but yeah, I think this will do it for me. So we've got uh, fair air breaking altitude at Jewel. We've got a fair air breaking altitude at Eve. In both cases, for home and transfers. I think this is much science done. So, uh, yep, unless there are other questions, I think I'll uh, call it a day for, for today. And we will continue on with career mode probably Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific, uh, 11 p.m. GMT, right? Okay, is that good for everybody? Weather effects, rainstorm hitting your rocket. 
Well, I'm just being realistic about what Squad is going to be able to put in. They've already decided that they're not uh, willing to do clouds because it's too much of a performance impact or something. So uh, if that's the situation, then you know, let's let's not ask for too much. Let's just get clouds. Uh, okay, thank you for watching.